look back fondly on Khabib Nurmagomedov, but every time he competes, he puts his status as one of the greatest fighters of all time on the line, and that status, of course, on the line yet again here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. Are you ready? You ready? All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. It looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponent in Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Javier Mendez, Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA. Gotta like what they're seeing out of Khabib Nurmagomedov striking here early, DC. And they set. Back and forth we go. Nice hook. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, side control now. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Nurmagomedov's back to the side control now. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. Let's see if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, he's got some of the best chokes in the game. He's going for one now. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel, right? That's where the opponent... Getting tighter. Right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Okay, now two, you ready? You ready? Let's All right, go. round two. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reason. And with authority. Goes to the judo throw right into side control. He's inside control. He's got a ton of options. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Got an angle here to try to change the position. Gotta be careful, Arbar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now 
he falls back into the finishing position. in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. Right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 48 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Habib the Eagle All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight. But he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to finally finish by submission.